So yes, I'm a Navy Federal fan. So initially when I started with Navy Federal, I started with a secure card and then I was upgraded to the cash reward. When I initially got upgraded to the cash rewards, my credit limit was only 12,000. For it to be 34,000 now, it's amazing. So what happened is I set my calendar each six months, I asked for an upgrade or sometime Navy Federal just automatically give me an upgrade. With the 34,000, I literally have zero balance on it. What I do is once per month, I'll buy like a small something on it so i have no and, and i pay that off so i have the zero balance on thirty-four thousand. on the um, middle card which is twenty thousand limit i have on it i have a five hundred dollars balance which is going to be paid before the statement date and i haven't started using this american express navy federal card but altogether i have over 50k in personal credit with navy federal i have not applied for their business credit as yet but i'm going to start <laughs> Now let's speak about PenFed. I love Pen PenFed. I actually have two credit cards with them. The other card is in my bag and I don't feel like getting up. But this card specifically I love because I have a 0% balance transfer if you do the transfer within 15 months. My apologies. If you do the transfer within the first 60 days, you have a 15 month zero balance transfer. Unlike these cards, this gold card does not have any cash or points rewards. If you're someone who does have a balance with multiple cards, you could definitely benefit from this card by just combining all your debt. Later, the link is in bio.